Hey everyone, Andrea from Summit Valley Soap here. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you this garden colored swirl that is a goat milk soap. When I have this many colors, I go ahead and divide out my oils accordingly ahead of time. And I'm gonna add as much as possible before starting with the lye. The main body of my soap is going to be a medium green. That's Laurel Green from Nurture Soap. I'm gonna have one portion that's uncolored that I'll add a little titanium dioxide to later. And then my dark green is Envy. I've got Twilight that's blue, Harold's Purple Crayon, and the yellow is Taxi Cab, all by Mad Micahs. The powder you saw me add right there was goat milk powder. And now this is sodium lactate. That's a natural liquid salt I use to help harden things up, get things out of the mold quicker. My fragrance is Persephone's Kiss from Nurture Soap. It's a really well-behaved fragrance, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it now as well. Anytime I do a complicated soap with lots of colors, I like to add everything I can ahead of time so that once things really get rockin' and rollin', I don't have to worry about forgetting or leaving something out. This scent is really nice and clean. It's a really pleasing, pleasant scent, and I think it's gonna be perfect for this garden-themed soap. Kind of thinking about the colors and the order I want to pour them in. And I'll go ahead and get started here with the lye. I'll measure in the biggest portion first. And after a lot of tweaking and experimentation, I have finally gotten to where my recipes move pretty slowly. Honestly, a little bit on the slow side, which is, uh, I'm like that person that's always too cold and too hot working on that Goldilocks zone, but I'm not gonna complain about things moving slowly because that's something I've wanted for a long time. I get this last bit of lye in here. Start blending things up. I've been using this manual hand blender lately instead of an electric one. It's really effective, it blends things really nicely, but it's more gentle than an electric hand blender. And I'm really, really liking it a lot. I'll put a link in the description below where you can find one of your own. They're super cheap, I think I paid $12 for it. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this base layer. And I probably should have waited a little bit, it's pretty watery. I'm gonna take each one of these, blend them up, kind of off camera here, but you get the idea. I'm just whisk, whisk, whisking away. I'm gonna go through with each of these colors probably twice. And it's one of those things you can think about the order of the colors over and over again. Overthink it into oblivion. But the truth is it's all gonna swirl around in there. But I'm gonna start with the yellow, then the blue, and then this white. You didn't see it, but off screen I did add a little titanium dioxide. Now the green, and finally the purple. I poured about half and then we're gonna go through that whole series again yellow and blue white green and purple I left a little bit in each one so that I can do some lines across the top. Now I didn't intend for this, and the timing isn't right either, for this to be a Mardi Gras soap. 
But the way it ended up looking, it had that yellow, green, and purple on top. So some things, sometimes things just end up with an accidental, accidental theme, I suppose. Another thing I'm trying to do is not swirl too much. So I just did a back and forth right through the middle and I'm gonna leave it alone. And here it is the next day. Pop it out of the mold here. I've got a multi-cutter, but this mold is too long for it. So I'll have to cut it in two pieces and then we'll get this cut and see what it looks like inside. Now I was going for a garden feel, but this swirl is looking very watercolory to me. I like Monet's water lily period. Very pretty though. Clean this up and I'll cut the second part. So pretty. I don't think it came out exactly like I had in mind, but it's gorgeous. Now these will be available in my Etsy shop on March 1st. I'm Summit Valley Soap on Etsy. I'm Summit Valley Soap on Instagram and Facebook, so find me there. Be sure to like and subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.